Welcome back now to the transition. The president elect continues to vet possible administration officials as his thank you tour continues across battleground states. Meanwhile, President Obama is ordering a review of election related hacks. ABC's Lana Zak explains. President elect Donald Trump's thank you tour continues with visits to Michigan and Louisiana. The Senate seat there still up for grabs in a runoff election. Tomorrow we need you to go to the polls and send John Kennedy to the United States Senate, and that's why I'm down here. Mr. Trump renewing a campaign pledge to build a wall on the southern border with Mexico. We're going to build the wall. Well, if John's not there, maybe we can't build the wall, so now I know you're going to come back. But before the president-elect left Trump Tower, he met with the man who may be his most powerful legislative ally, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. We had a great meeting to talk about our transition. We're very excited about getting to work and hitting the ground running in 2017 to put this country back on track. Meanwhile, at the White House, the current president has requested a review of hacks related to the last election. The president earlier this week instructed the intelligence community to conduct a full review of the pattern of malicious cyber activity related to our presidential election cycle. The president asked uh, to go back with what we know now to make sure that we're using every tool possible um, as a means of due diligence. During the last election, hackers released emails particularly targeting the Clinton campaign. Intelligence officials tied those hacks to Russian operatives, a fact Mr. Trump has disputed. The White House believes that this report will be completed before President Obama leaves office. And they also say this is a wider ranging report than just the last election, reminding us that in 2008, both McCain and Obama were hacked by Chinese operatives. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington. And Trump is expected to pick Goldman Sachs President Gary Cohn for the White House National Economic Council. That's according to two people informed on that decision. Joe Gruters will serve a fifth term as chairman of Sarasota's Republican Party. The longtime Sarasota resident was reelected to the position, which is a two-year term. Gruters took over as party leader in 2008. This past year, Gruters helped Donald Trump win Florida as co-chairman of the state's campaign. And Gruters will have a busy couple of years ahead of him. Just last month, he won a seat in the state house. With a Donald Trump presidency on the horizon, several communities, including our own, are speaking out against his promise to eliminate sanctuary cities. These cities are communities with policies in place that protect undocumented immigrants, like refusing to detain immigrants for federal immigration agents. An estimated two to 300 sanctuary communities exist throughout the country, and residents are asking for more. Undocumented families in Tampa are asking the mayor to declare sanctuary status. And one new college student has now petitioned administration to make that campus a safe haven as well. We might have an influx of undocumented students that might benefit from this next year. So regardless of whether there are students that would benefit from this or not, it should still be a thing that we need to discuss. I think everybody has a right, but I don't see anybody that's here illegally having any rights. Uh, they need to go back, and we have federal laws, and we're going to try to enforce those laws. Tonight on ABC 7 at 7, we explore whether Trump and other lawmakers can fulfill their promise to cut federal funding to sanctuary cities. Bradenton could start offering transgender city employees coverage for gender reassignment surgery. The city council will consider this change at a meeting next week. If approved, coverage under the city's insurance provider would begin on January 1st. A typical gender reassignment program is a three-year process with costs ranging from $7,000 to $50,000. If you would like to adopt a new pet, Manatee County Animal Services is offering a deal for the next two weekends. All adoption fees will be waived today and tomorrow and again next Friday and Saturday. That includes fees for spaying and neutering, microchipping and a rabies certificate. However, there are still a $15 fee for a license for that rabies fee. You just get the vaccination, then they give you the license for $15. There are around 170 dogs and 145 cats up for adoption. So go check them out and find a furry friend. Now let's head over to Bob and get a check on our chillier weather. Yeah, and remember, there's always a lot of responsibility with those pets. I know a lot of people will be getting those uh, for the holidays as well. 
Uh, we are looking at the satellite and radar imagery showing a lot of high clouds around, but the news is not much rainfall. We had a few sprinkles earlier. Uh, for the most part, that rain has shifted to the south. And what we're looking at is a pretty cool night, though. Temperatures will be below seasonal averages. You can see some sprinkles just offshore of Placida and Rotunda right now, pushing to the northeast. And as far as advisories go, well, for Mariners, that's about it tonight. We're not looking at any frost or freeze for us. We will see low temperatures, though, into the upper 40s to low 50s for the most part. Small craft advisories will be in effect through uh, mid morning tomorrow, then more than likely expire. Temperatures into the low 50s already in the Panhandle. Jacksonville at 52. It's 53 in Tallahassee, 60 in Orlando, 73 now into Miami and around town, all in the upper 50s to low 60s. But with a northeast wind, actually makes it feel a bit chillier out there. So grab your jackets or sweaters if you're heading outdoors tonight. It's going to be a little bit on the cooler side due to these low dew points, too. We'll let you know about the weekend weather and how it's shaping up. Temperatures will be getting back to more seasonal averages as, as soon as Sunday. More on that coming up in a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. Starting next week, you can take a Southwest flight from Tampa to Havana. Southwest Airlines will launch its first flight from the Tampa International Airport to the capital city of Cuba on Monday morning. One-way fares cost $59, but that includes two bags. However, a 14-day advance is needed to purchase these tickets. Florida has the nation's third largest Cuban population. U.S. safety regulators are telling automakers to step up the Takata recall. Today, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration issued an order forcing automakers to prioritize getting parts needed and fixing the vehicles most at risk. Regulators are forcing automakers to speed up replacing defective airbags made by the Japanese auto supplier before working on other vehicles. The agency says the recall will ultimately affect about 42 million vehicles in the U.S. Entrepreneurs featured on the ABC show Shark Tank are teaching Suncoast students about the business world and nutrition. Ashley Drummonds and her business partner Josh McClellan talked to 8th graders at Booker Middle School in Sarasota today. Drummonds recently landed a deal with an investor on Shark Tank to market her high-protein abs pancakes. Today she gave students a sample of her healthy pancakes and talked to them about the importance of eating right and regular exercise. But this is the difference, like reading off the list of the regular pancakes. Uh, you actually know what these ingredients are, and hopefully now you're more aware of the food you're putting in your mouth and what it does for your body. I think really changing your mindset for certain things, like to just think better of yourself and um, like change what you want to do with your life really helps on how you progress and what you want to do for your life. Drummonds and McClelland are also personal trainers. After the pancake samples, they took the kids out for some exercise. Great to hear. Still to come on your Suncoast News, one state is now allowing self-driving cars on public roads without a steering wheel or human passenger. What this could mean for the future of driving, that's coming up next. Services.com. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Rich finishes, beautiful colors, and over a thousand different fabrics and leathers to choose from. With Bassett Custom Furniture at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. Get a quality built Bassett Queen Sleeper with your choice of Inner Spring, Gel, or Air Dream mattress. Starting at only $9.99. Come in today and we'll guarantee your Bassett Custom Furniture will be shipped before the holidays. With our complimentary design service, start designing, start loving. Only at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding in Port Charlotte. Nobody beats Bacon's. 
Christmas traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees, every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Flooring Depot has been serving Sarasota and Manatee counties for over 20 years with the best products and installation. Flooring Depot offers carpet, tile, hardwood, and more. Before you buy, give us a try. Stop by our showroom or visit us on the web at bestvaluecarpet.com. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. Alex Karras Lincoln's holiday sales event is here. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. Sarasota Memorial Hospital is among the first on the Sun Coast to use a newly FDA-approved breakthrough device to treat peripheral artery disease, or PAD. ABC 7's Alex Redman joins us now with the details on this procedure. Alex. Thanks, Haley. The Pantheris device allows physicians to see inside the artery as they shave and clean the plaque away. Well, I was taking a stress test, and they stopped it. Leonard Kiefer says a phone call revealed a medical problem. My descending artery to the heart, they call it the widow maker, was blocked 95 percent. Now, three years later, Kiefer says he's back because of plaque accumulation. And I had the right leg done, I had arteries in the chest done, and now I came back to get the left leg done today. Peripheral arterial disease is uh, an inflammatory process of building up cholesterol in the legs. It's the same process that you build up in your heart. Dr. Rick Yaura performs procedures at Sarasota Memorial Hospital using a newly approved FDA device, which he says cuts only the diseased area, causing no trauma. It's called the Pantheris, and it's used to cut away plaque from arteries, and it's currently being used instead of stents. And it's like the incredible voyage where you're, you're going through the artery and you're seeing everything that is all around you. And if some parts that you see that are not normal, then you see that's not normal, I'm going to cut it. Fiber optics provide light for the camera, which better guides physicians, explains Pantheris inventor Dr. John Simpson. So the cutter is coming out on the top of the catheter and the camera is mounted right on the edge of that cutter. Physicians treating complicated arterial disease used to rely on touch and feel to guide tools. With this device now, since it's got this camera, so to speak, at the tip of it, we can see without having to use any imaging such as radiation or fluoroscopy. You're semi-conscious. They don't knock you out cold, so you can hear the doctors talking and so on. It's now two hours afterwards, and I'm ready to go home. <laughs> and we think that we're going to probably be able to use this device, ultimately in the heart arteries, that are chronically occluded, which makes a lot of patients have to go to bypass surgery because we cannot get across them easy. Dr. Simpson says that this confirms that there will be less scar tissue with this device. And Alex, how long did it take to develop the device? Actually, it took 25 years, so this wasn't something that happened mm. as a fly-by-night. This happened over 25 years, and as the patient said, he got to go home two hours later. He was actually awake, so it's not general anesthesia. It's a great thing. That's fantastic. Anytime you can avoid that anesthesia and leave the hospital sooner, 
even better. All Absolutely. right, thank you, Alex. Now the Suncoast traffic watch. A couple of delays in Sarasota County where the westbound lane on Fruitville Road is blocked. This is near Mimosa Drive. We're going to head over to Bob and get a check on our chillier forecast. Thanks, Haley. Yes, uh, tonight we are looking at some cool temperatures. Uh, Lakeland Ranch webcam showing some clouds around occasionally this afternoon and then some higher clouds moving in late this evening. And looks like we will see uh, just a few sprinkles, mainly in South Sarasota and Charlotte counties this evening, but all in all, a fairly quiet night, just a cool one. That's all. Viewer photos, uh, this one, Piper Lyons uh, from Facebook, and you can see those mid to higher clouds coming in from the Gulf of Mexico as a result of a very active subtropical jet stream, which has been bringing us that moderate to high cloudiness uh, throughout the day today. Some rain down to our south, mainly a few showers. I mentioned a few sprinkles, if you will, developing uh, right there near Charlotte Harbor and just to the west of Inglewood, but not much going on. The Red Tide Report, this is the latest from FWC, and what they're reporting now, still medium to high concentrations being reported right there near New Pass and throughout Big Pass. Uh, those areas uh, seem to be the highest uh, as far as the red tide goes. And then uh, we have spotty areas along uh, parts of Anna Maria Island all the way down into uh, Longboat Key Pass. Again, uh, this has been reported with some dead fish uh, near Beer Can Island and also stretching northward up into uh, what appears to be, again, uh, just off of Sneed Island. So some areas there I was uh, boating there. We'll talk more about that uh, just yesterday. And uh, we'll have the reports on that coming up a little bit. But as you can see, uh, high concentrations that's greater than 1 million cells per liter. So 1 million cells per liter uh, being reported right there uh, near New Pass. Our forecast tonight looks like this evening planner looks to be chilly, but uh, we'll stay dry for the most part. Temperatures falling down into the mid 50s as early as 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, 61 degrees right now. The dew point pretty low. 43 winds out of the north northeast at 8 and the pressure way up there. 3025 that continues to rise. The high today was 11 degrees below average, something we haven't been able to say much at all this fall. Temperatures have been riding high as of late. The low this morning was chilly, 52. We'll be a little bit cooler than that tomorrow morning, right around 50, 51 degrees, upper 40s. Inland, the record low, 30, set back in 1984. And three one-hundredths of an inch of rainfall. That's it uh, with a brief shower overnight. Now, as far as temperatures go across the state, Already down to the low 50s in Pensacola, Tallahassee, and Jacksonville. Low 70s, though, 20 degrees warmer in Miami at this point. And as far as our area is concerned, Inglewood at 61. Northport, you're at 60 and 59 degrees in Arcadia. Braden at 61, Sarasota 61, and the Gulf temperature now at 70. Soon to go into the 60s, I think, over the weekend. Well, the hourly forecast for Saturday, not too bad, really. Temperatures warming into the low 70s. Considering our average high is 75, not too far off from that. Although it will be rather cool to start things off, about 5 to 6 degrees below average to start the day off tomorrow. Satellite and radar picture confirms the clear skies over the southeast as a result of a large area of high pressure, which continues to build in there. Nothing really downstream. We're looking at a zonal flow. When we get a zonal flow, that means things stay rather the same. And we're going to see that west to east flow uh, throughout much of next week. And with that in mind, don't expect much changes. And we're going to see temperatures warm back into the upper 70s as early as Sunday. And that's where it will stay pretty much right through much of next week. Uh, some clouds around tomorrow occasionally. Uh, rain, not much of a chance really. Isolated shower possible inland, but that would be about it. Temperatures over the northeast. Boston 32, 28 in Buffalo, Toronto. 27. There's that Arctic air now that has spilled into parts of the northern Rockies and northern plains. It's even cold in Dallas now, 38 degrees. Here's the forecast for boaters. Unfortunately, a small craft advisory staying with us. In the northeast winds at 20 knots to start the day. It'll subside somewhat in the afternoon. Seas still 3 to 5 feet. Water temperature at 70 degrees. Tides up coming on your screen. The next high tide will be at 820. And the forecast tonight, chilly. Mostly fair, upper 40s uh, for inland areas and 50 degrees near the coast. And the extended forecast looks like this. We are going to see uh, high temperatures back above average as early as Sunday. Well, I was able to dust off the cobwebs from my boat and go check out and see if the red tide for myself over the northern portion of Sarasota. This is uh, looking there uh, toward uh, Annie's uh, bait and tackle in Cortez. They have a great weather computer there. It's called the Nautical Weather Guide. If the rope is moving, it's windy. If it's gone, Yes, the hurricane is around. I like that. Uh, the, the tide was low, and even Mont Marie was up there checking on some dolphins swimming around. I didn't really have any harmful effects of red tide. I didn't feel any at that point, but that's because of the northeast wind. You can see those dolphins swimming in the distance there. I even had a chance to do a little fishing. Caught uh, a nice flounder right there. Not big enough, and using that chartreuse jig with a little bit of shrimp. I picked up that shrimp at Annie's, by the way, and 
Uh, there's a ladyfish. I caught about five of those uh, real quickly. It was kind of windy out there. It's going to stay windy too, unfortunately, uh, right through the weekend. As far as photos go, well, we had some photos sent in. And uh, this one was uh, from a few days ago. Coach Steve, uh, again, always showing these great pictures of the snook. He said that someone told him the snook are back in the canals. Not quite yet, he said, but they will be now as a result of the cooler water temperatures that are moving in. Beach fishing adventures, again, uh, Steve, appreciate that photo of a nice snook. You have to release those and uh, show me the fish. He was out in some deep water off of Anna Maria. Uh, this is uh, Howard, and he's from New Jersey. He caught that huge cobia right there. And <laughs> Captain Larry McGuire always catches those big fish and sending them in. Appreciate it and have uh, fun. But be safe this weekend. The best boating day will be Sunday, mm -hmm. and even that is not all that great. But seas will be less. Okay, uh, that is a huge fish. That is big cobia. Those are fun to catch. catch. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Bob. If you see a car driving down the road in Michigan without a driver, do not panic. With a new law signed today, people can now test self-driving cars on Michigan public roads without a driver or even a steering wheel. Lawmakers hope the law will bring the forefront of driving technology to their state, allowing self-driving taxi services and parade tests. So we'll see how this goes. Of course, Michigan, the land of all the automakers, right? Well, once certification of these vehicles are complete, is complete, the sale of self-driving vehicles will also be permitted. Coca-Cola CEO is stepping down from his role after almost nine years. Mutar Kent announced today that as of the next year, he will be handing over the reins to current chief operating officer James Quincy. During his time as CEO, Kent diversified the company beyond soda drinks, adding brands including vitamin water and smart water while expanding markets into Eastern Europe and the former Soviet Union. Kent still plans on sticking around, working as an active chairman. Entertainment News is next. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School, serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. You've seen me roll for a hundred G's, but I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. And so the best that I can do is pray. <laughs> Luck be a lady tonight. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass and Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact-resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Types of timber, cuts of meat, cooking times, temperatures, rubs, seasoning, sauces. You name it, they know it. That's what makes them who they are, Sonny's Pitmasters, and proud of it. Come get some baby back ribs at Sonny's Barbecue. On their own or paired with favorites like jalapeno cheddar hot links, fold or sliced pork, plus two sides and bread. Sonny's Barbecue, local Pitmasters in 68. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. 
Man, played by Tom Holland, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, and Michael Keaton as the bad guy, Vulture. Spider-Man has been a big blockbuster brand at the box office. The five Sony films brought in nearly $4 billion worldwide. Spider-Man Homecoming weaves its web into theaters on July 7th. We'll be right back. Don't miss the 19th Annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th, to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and ridin' at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. Sarasota, we're uncorking something special at Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room. Shop in a relaxed atmosphere with our wine specialists. You'll find a thousand international wines, 200 under $20. National brand and boutique liquors at competitive pricing. Handcrafted beers. Stop by Michael's Wine Cellar and Tasting Room today and let us show you something exceptional. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring with over $126 million in prizes. Use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. If you have a suspicion for harboring prostate cancer, we have a way of diagnosing by using an exquisite instrument called three-dimensional color flow power Doppler ultrasound. Using this system, we can identify abnormalities within the prostate that you could otherwise never detect. The Detoli Cancer Center is the only center in the southeastern United States which has this technology. If you have prostate cancer, we will find it.